is why I hustle. This is why I grind. This is why I work. And I ain't hustling for nothing. This is why I hustle. This is why I grind. This is why I work. I ain't hustling for nothing. This is why I hustle. This is why I grind. This is why I work. It's wake up time. Ugh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How y'all feeling this morning? So I'm, I'm excited. You guys know what series we're in right now. So I'm, I'm excited about the series that we're in, in right now. And um, we're going to dig right into that thing today. We're in that series called Be Great or Stay Home. We're in the series Be Great or Stay Home. Home, yo. So this your man, Words Taylor, your motivational storyteller. It's wake up time. Let's get it. Ugh. Salute to the dream builders. How y'all feeling this morning? So listen, I'm fired up. I'm pumped up about uh, today's message, right? Be great or stay home. And uh, what I'm talking about is two things that you for sure need to be great. Two things that you for sure need to be great. All right, my six-year-old daughter displayed these two things to me. And I want you guys to be able to, to immediately apply this to your life, right? So this is what happens, right? You know I tell motivation through story. So here's the story. My daughter, um, she loves to kind of just like do things on her own. She absolutely despises when you tell her to do something that she already knows that she needs to do. This is what I mean. So we started doing chores. When we come home, I had to get her to start transitioning to chores. So what I did was I started letting her have free time first. So she would do 30 minutes of free time, and then we would transition to chores. Then you get your other 30 minutes of free time, right? So that's where we are right now. 30 minutes free time, chores, 30 more minutes of free time. All right, that's how we do it. And so she would start asking, well, like, Daddy, well, can, because sometimes, you know, during my free time, and when you tell me it's time to do chores, I'm really, I'm really into something that, and that I want to get done. I said, baby, I understand it, but that was our agreement, that you would do free time chores and then free time again. So you had to stop no matter what. She said, all right. So she gets to thinking in her head, like, man, how can I start to change this, right? And so let me tell you what happened today. Today, my daughter wakes up, and typically when she wakes up about 6.30, her alarm clock goes off, she gets dressed, she lotions herself, brush her teeth, wash her face, all that good stuff, she gets ready, and she'll come downstairs. Well, I noticed that she didn't come downstairs right away, all right? And I'm like, what? why, why she didn't come downstairs right away? And we go upstairs. This girl has done all of her chores in the morning, come on, y'all not, y'all not even, y'all don't even understand where the message, the message is here already. This girl, first of all, was frustrated that things were out of her control. So she said, you know what? I don't want to do my, I know daddy's bottom line is he just wants me to get chores done. He don't care when I do them. He just wants me to get, I said, baby, I don't care. You just get, get them done. I don't care if you want to just come home, do chores, and then you have your hour of free time. But what she doesn't like doing, she doesn't like coming home and me, immediately have to work right after school. Baby, you work that thing out. You work it out how you want to. I just need chores done. That's all I need. So this girl woke up this morning, got ready, got dressed, and we're running because we're already up, wondering why, why is she not downstairs yet? Go upstairs. She's cleaned her room. She did all of her chores. She put the silverware away. She got all of her stuff out the front room. She, she's, she's, she's already cleaned the tables and chairs and all of this stuff. And she said, and, and, and she told mommy, well, I don't want to do it because I don't want to have to do chores after school anymore. Ha! So the first thing you need in order to be great is you need to get frustrated. You need to get frustrated with how you're living. You need to get frustrated that things are out of your control right now. You need to get frustrated that you don't control your life right now, that you don't control your dream right now. You need to get frustrated by that. And, I, and, and to see my baby girl do that, I'm like, this girl, oh, God, what are you doing out here? So I, I, I understood through that frustration that her not being able to have control over when she got to do her own free time, it bothered her enough. Well, here's the second thing you need in order to be great. It bothered her enough that she took initiative. 
She said, I'll, I'll change it. What happens is you're waiting around and you're wanting somebody else to do it for you. See, she doesn't like being told do step by step by step by step. She doesn't like that. She knows what she needs to do. And, she'll, and I'll remind her like, daddy, or baby, don't forget you got to do this. Don't forget you got to. And she's like, daddy, I know you don't have to tell me. That frustrates her to have to hear, to have to have somebody hold her accountable on something she knows she should be doing. So she said, yo, I'll beat you to the punch. I'll do it without you having to say it. That's what I like. She said, that's what I like. She got frustrated to a point where she was willing to take initiative. If you're going to be great, listen, if you're going to be great, you have to get to a point where you're frustrated with your life. You should get to that point where you're frustrated with the results that you've been putting out. You should be frustrated with your mediocre talent or your mediocre effort. You should be frustrated with those things. And she got frustrated because it was out of her control. Guess what else she started doing? Which takes us to the next thing. Listen, the next thing, yesterday, on yesterday, she told mommy, mommy, you mind if I make my lunch? You mind if I make my peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Mommy's like, yeah, cool, go ahead. Right? And I got on video this morning. She did the same thing this morning. After all of that, she cleaned up and all that stuff. She poured out the bread and, and, and the jelly and the peanut butter. And she started making her own peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And I got her on video on my story. You can check it out on Instagram or Facebook. And I said, baby, how does that feel to be making your own sandwich? Listen, listen to what she said. She said, it feels good. I said, baby, why does it feel good? She said, because I get to do my sandwiches how I want it. Mmm. Come on, man. My daughter is dependent right now, but I'm not raising a, a, a dependent child. I'm raising an independent woman right now. And the problem is with your dream, you're too dependent on everybody else. You're too dependent on your job. You put yourself in a position where you are a dependent and you can't do it like you want to. She said, I'll make my sandwiches from now on because I get to do it like I want to. She took initiative to learn. She got frustrated by telling her mom, like, mama, I don't want it cut today. Mommy, can you put pe less peanut butter today? Can you put more jelly today? You know what? I'll take initiative because I'm frustrated that when I bite off my sandwich, it's not how I want it. My sandwich is not how I want it, so I will take initiative and do it myself. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Frustration led to her initiative. Initiative led to her independence, making sure that she gets to have her sandwich like she wants it. And the problem is you're not frustrated enough before you get to the point where you actually take initiative. You go into your job, you, you, kind, of, you kind of mad. You kind of like, man, I don't want to go here. But you ain't frustrated to a point where you're willing to take initiative. You ain't frustrated to the point where you're willing to get off your job and go right to your dream. You ain't frustrated to the point where you'll turn off the TV. You ain't frustrated to the point where you'll quit your bowling league or you'll quit doing whatever extracurricular activity. You ain't frustrated to that level. That's, that's what it takes to be great. So if you ain't, fr if you ain't frustrated to that point, then you, you might as well stay home. Remember, this series, like, like, I understand this might seem a little disrespectful. Like, this series is all about be great or stay your butt home. Those are the two options you have. I'm talking about getting frustrated to the point where you're forcing yourself to be great. From greatness, you force yourself to now take initiative. Once you take initiative, guess what? You get to control you get to control it. Just like when you go to different places and you see a gap and you're like, man, I can solve that problem. Boom, go ahead. That frustration gets you to take initiative. Now that initiative, you get to control that outcome. You're no longer dependent on somebody. Your dream is not dependent on somebody else holding you accountable. Your dream is not dependent on somebody else sending you a text. Your dream is not dependent on somebody else telling you to step by step. My, my daughter got irritated by that. My daughter gets irritated when you tell her a step by step plan when she already knows what to do. She's like, yo, that frustrates me. I know what to do and I want to do it in my control. So this girl got up this morning. Got ready quickly so she can do her chores. And she said, Daddy, so does this work? So I don't need to do chores after school? She's trying to solve a problem. She's frustrated. This is beyond my control. I don't want to break up. I don't want to break up my free time. Daddy, you're doing 30 minutes. Then I got to do chores. Then you're doing another 30 minutes. I want my whole hour like I wanted to spend what a, how I want to do it. So she solved the problem. Frustration initiative. And now she gets to control how she wants it. 
So my challenge to you guys today is the very same thing. Are you frustrated enough where you would do something to actually change your life? Are you frustrated enough where you would choose to be great today? Are you frustrated enough where you will make a sacrifice and say, no, nah, I'm not doing that right now? I just went on, listen, y'all, I went on a seven-day cruise. Now, you all know I'm out of the, I'm out of the 400s, right, y'all? So I'm excited about that. Once I see, I'm see most of you guys in Miami at a conference, I'm telling you right now, I will be 350 or less, right? I, I'm telling you guys right now because I'm frustrated to that level. And so when I mean frustrated to a point where you're willing to make sacrifices, we went on a seven-day cruise, and my wife will tell you this. I said I wasn't eating any sweets. I did not have not one thing sweet. No, no cake, no ice cream, no, no candy, no, no butterscotch, no nothing. None of that, because I said I'm frustrated to a point where I got to take some initiative. I got to hold myself accountable. It, I got to be loyal to me. That's greatness takes initiative. And then you got to start being loyal to you. If you ain't loyal to you, then you will never, you will never be great. You got to start being loyal to you. So this is your man, Words Taylor, your motivational storyteller. It's wake up time. Let's get it. Ugh.